The Royal New Zealand Air Force continues to rely on its fleet of Augusta Westland A109 light utility helicopters, the A109 LUH, as a cornerstone of its rotary wing capabilities in 2025. This fleet of five operational helicopters, with one additional airframe reserved for spare parts, plays a critical role in training aircrew and supporting a wide range of operational missions. Since their introduction in 2011, the A109 LUHs have proven to be versatile, cost-effective, and indispensable for the RNDAV's No. 3 Squadron based at our base Ohakea. As New Zealand's defense priorities evolve in response to regional and global challenges, the A109 fleet remains a vital asset, balancing training demands with operational flexibility. The A109 LUH was selected in 2007 to replace the RNF's aging Bell 47G Su helicopters, which had served as the primary training platform for decades. The decision to acquire the A109 was driven by the need for a modern, twin-engine helicopter capable of meeting both training and operational requirements. Delivered by 2011, the A109 LUH fleet consists of five operational helicopters, with a sixth airframe acquired to ensure a steady supply of spare parts and to serve as an attrition reserve. This acquisition strategy reflects the RNZF's pragmatic approach to maintaining high serviceability rates, a critical factor given the fleet's intensive use in both training and operational roles. The A109 LUH is equipped with a modern glass cockpit and retractable wheeled undercarriage, making it a highly capable platform for a variety of missions. Its lightweight design and twin-engine configuration provide the agility and reliability needed to operate in New Zealand's diverse and often challenging environments, from rugged terrain to coastal regions. The primary role of the A109 LUH is to serve as the backbone of the RNZF's helicopter training system. The fleet is integral to preparing aircrew for operational conversion to more complex platforms, such as the NH-90 medium lift helicopter and the SH-2G Sea Sprite maritime helicopter operated by the Royal New Zealand Navy. The A109's advanced training system, which includes a virtual interactive procedural trainer and a full flight simulator, ensures that aircrew receive comprehensive instruction in both basic and advanced helicopter operations. This system is designed to be cost-effective, allowing the RNZAF to maximize training output while minimizing wear on its larger, more expensive helicopters. The A109's ability to simulate complex mission scenarios in a controlled environment has made it an invaluable tool for building the skills required to operate in high-stakes operational contexts. Beyond its training role, the A109 LUH is a highly versatile platform that supports a wide range of operational missions. Operated by No. 3 Squadron, the helicopters are tasked with light utility roles, including personnel transport, disaster relief, counterterrorism, and support for government agencies such as the New Zealand Police and the Department of Conservation. The A109's ability to operate in extreme environments combined with its compact size and maneuverability makes it ideal for missions requiring rapid response and precision. For example, the helicopters have been deployed to assist in search and rescue operations, deliver supplies to remote communities during natural disasters, and provide tactical support during joint exercises with other government agencies. This operational flexibility ensures that the A109 fleet remains a critical asset for the New Zealand Defence Force, particularly in scenarios where larger helicopters like the NH-90 are less practical or cost-effective. The sustainment and maintenance of the A109 fleet are managed by RNZF personnel, with a focus on maintaining high serviceability rates to meet both training and operational demands. While specific details on recent upgrades to the A109 LUH are scarce, the RNZF's deeper maintenance team has demonstrated significant expertise in maintaining and upgrading its helicopter fleets. For instance, recent upgrades to the NH-90 fleet 
including the installation of advanced navigation and communication systems, were completed locally at RNZAF Base Ohakea, suggesting that similar capabilities could be applied to the A-109 fleet if required. The use of a spare airframe for parts ensures that maintenance downtime is minimized, allowing the fleet to maintain a high level of readiness. This approach reflects the RNZF's commitment to self-sufficiency and operational efficiency, particularly in the face of global supply chain challenges that have affected defense forces worldwide. Strategically, the A109 LUH fleet complements the RNZAF's broader rotary wing capabilities, which include eight NH-90 helicopters and the RNZN's SH-2GI Sea Sprite maritime helicopters. The A109's role as a light utility and training platform allows the NH-90s to focus on medium-lift tactical operations, such as troop transport and logistics support, while the Sea Sprites handle maritime surveillance and anti-submarine warfare. This division of roles ensures that the NZDF's helicopter fleet is well-balanced, with each platform optimized for specific tasks. However, the NZDF faces ongoing challenges with personnel recruitment and retention, particularly for technical and aircrew roles. While these issues are more pronounced with the NH-90 and Sea Sprite fleets due to their complexity, they could potentially impact the A-109 fleet's operational tempo if resources become stretched. The NZDF has acknowledged these challenges and is actively working to address them through targeted recruitment campaigns and training programs. Looking to the future, the A109 LUH fleet is likely to remain a key component of the RNZF's capabilities for the foreseeable future. While the NZDF is prioritizing the replacement of the aging SH2GI Sea Sprite fleet by 2027, with a budget of NZ $2 billion allocated for new maritime helicopters, there are no specific plans in the available sources to replace or expand the A109 fleet. However, the 2015 Major Projects Report explored options for increasing the number of training and light utility helicopters, including potentially acquiring additional A109s. While no recent updates confirm such an expansion, the continued reliance on the A109 for both training and operational roles suggests that the fleet will remain in service for at least another decade, supported by ongoing maintenance and potential minor upgrades. The broader strategic context for New Zealand's Defence Forces in 2025 also underscores the importance of the A109 fleet. As the Indo-Pacific region becomes increasingly complex, with growing geopolitical tensions and environmental challenges, the NZDF's ability to maintain a flexible and responsive helicopter capability is critical. The A109's versatility allows it to support a wide range of missions, from humanitarian assistance to national security operations, making it a valuable asset in an uncertain world. Additionally, the fleet's role in training the next generation of RNZDF aircrew ensures that New Zealand can sustain its rotary wing capabilities over the long term, even as it faces personnel and budgetary constraints.